was your first time working with Eric. How did you prepare to have a game plan for this workout? What did you want to really execute working with him today? The main thing working with my players is communication. So first and foremost, it's kind of getting in his head, his thought process on things that he needs to work on, um, things that Coach Wright would tell him that he needs positions that he's going to be in, and also kind of going back into some of his old mixtapes of you know games and stuff like that, and just kind of watching uh, some of his go-to moves, his tendencies, things like that. What angles and positions did you really want to work on today to kind of emphasize on and kind of you know work on things that he's good at, but also work on things that he's not good at as well, like his weaknesses in certain areas? Yeah, so the main things that we touched on were the low post, mid post, and some pick and pop reads. So um, we definitely kind of played off his strengths with his touch, the shooting, uh, jab steps, and things like that, and along with kind of throwing some new things at him, which is kind of pace, attack, closeouts, and just understanding how the defender is playing him, how the defender is closing out on him, and that will dictate where you'll be able to get into open space, make a play. With a guy that high profile, you know, and emphasizing the little things is so key, how much do you, did you emphasize the little things today through the workout? Oh, those are 100% key. Whether you're a six-year-old or you're a professional basketball player, details are everything. So you're never too good uh, for the small things, and those are always things that you can definitely improve on. Watching him, you know, through film and watching him doing your workout and working with him, what do you think from a trainer's perspective that makes him so unique? Eric is just, he's a legit big guard. So he has an amazing feel for the game, a uh, great touch around the rim and he's just able to affect the game in so many different ways. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Talk us through the workout that you just went through, what you guys worked on, and you know, what was your mindset going into you know, this workout? First, I went through it, as you said, seeing the videos, and I know there was a lot of power of the guys, so I went through my time, as you were saying, and try to get the footwork and everything like that. How much do you emphasize the little things in each workout? Because you're such, you're so good at so many different things. How much do you emphasize just the little things going into each and every workout? In the workouts, it's best I try to focus on football and details. Because in the game, everything's sped up, everything's going to be on fast pace. So if you don't have the good habit built up, it's going to be hard to do the right things in the game. Since you're going in a Nova, when you go into each workout, do you try to work on certain things that you know you will be you know, implemented to when you get to Nova into their system and their style of life? Of course. I go over and they send the workout and stuff like that that I do from time to time. And, you know, with that, that I've told him, you know, it's a simple thing or concept, the offense, you know, put some things together that I know I'm going to be able to use and stuff like that. But also checking myself for good basketball player in the system, you know, not just their system. So it's a whole bit of fun. Okay, since you don't have age anymore, you have this whole summer for you. What are you focusing on throughout the summer to work on and improve on since you don't have any other obligations to? to uh, conquer and accomplish. I'm just trying to get in shape. Uh, you know, that me getting in shape is like crucial when you being able to play. But there's a skill with physicality and toughness I got it, but I need to be quicker, a little more agile, a little more explosive. You talk about Nova how their structure their structure and their system is what you look look forward to the most. Have you tried to implement structure into your life now before you even get acclimated into their program? I'm just trying to start to step my routine, you know, working on six days a week. Taking one day off, you know, one day or two days, so I want to go in a week. Just keep my body fresh, but that's really it in terms of the structure that they have. You know, it's hard to really get into that kind of thing unless you're in the environment made for it. Are you more disciplined now than ever, you know, when you were a freshman, sophomore? Have you become more disciplined in your approach just to schoolwork, to how you work out? Have you become more disciplined, you know, throughout your whole, you know, life as well? I've become more disciplined in Balance I gotta have a little bit of everything, you know, I gotta have social life and, you know, basketball at the same time because, you know, when they work well together, you know, and you saw during the season, it's probably the best season of my career. I mean, you know, just trying to be a better person to bounce my life out. I see.